Hi, I'm Chris Maribel, Senior Tech Advisor at Engraver Group. Today we're in the assembly room of our manufacturing facility in Mansfield, Missouri. And today we're going to do a little bit of maintenance for our mongoose. Uh, we're going to use our tools that come in our tool bag. Uh, we have an Allen key, a, a wrench, and a hub nut, T-handle, thingamajig, remover. No one really knows what the name of it is. A couple things that we're going to do is we're going to check our brushes. From time to time you need to check the brushes of the, of the machine just to make sure that there's no blackened edges. Uh, these get changed in pairs. Uh, so whenever you do want to change them or they are worn out, you change two of them. There's one here on this side and there's one right down here. Uh, they both have a black cap with a straight slotted screwdriver. Uh, simply look at them from time to time just to make sure that they are in good shape and not burning. The other thing that you really need to make sure of is that you always cut using a shop vac with a clean stream air filter. Uh, it minimizes the dust, it minimizes dust getting into the arbor, arbiter. Uh, that way it, you have longer life on your machine. To change the blade, there are six screws that we're going to take off. And we're going to simply use the Allen key for your depth control uh, to remove those. Okay, once we have removed all six, we're going to slide the blade guard cover up. Now, one thing to make sure of is these are left threaded, a left threaded hub screw. So righty tighty, lefty loosey does not work in this case. You got to take everything off, take the uh, hub screw off. I have a quarter inch blade here and it has a recessed arbor uh, to fit the mongoose. Uh, I also have a 3 8 blade uh, has a recessed arbor also to fit the mongoose. Uh, these blades, these diamond blades are directional and there's an arrow and the arrow goes to the back side of the machine. Put our 3 8 blade in there. Put our Hub keeper and our left threaded hub screw. Take our wrench again, slide it to the bottom, and our uh, nut driver, and just give them a little tightening. You don't want to wrench down too hard on them because they will tighten up as you're using them. Pull our blade guard cover down, and we're going to go ahead and put our screws back in place here. That's it. For more tips like this, go to our blog, www.engravercrete.com slash blog. And I'm Chris, and I'll see you next time.